All right, here with uh, Jordan McKinney, quarterback of the Nich Nicholas County Grizzlies. Uh, you, uh, Jordan, first of all, a rushing touchdown tonight. Uh, you guys were able to get the win. Uh, talk about what this win over Wyoming East means for you. Coach. Oh, it's huge. Uh, we just needed that momentum to keep going forward in the season. Like, that loss to Shady, it just showed what we had. I mean, we can win ball games, and we showed it right there. Uh, last year, they were able to go up and get a season-defining victory for them um, in Summersville. I know you got in that game, and I think that was probably that you didn't play a whole lot after that, right? Yeah. What did did you learn anything from that game, that one performance that you took into this year? Well, I learned I gotta I gotta be a leader out there. I mean, I can't just you can't just be lousy. And, uh, you gotta get everybody into the game. It's harder to come off the bench, though, isn't it, than start at the yeah. beginning of the game? Yeah. Do you feel more relaxed because you know this is your team? Uh, a little bit. Is this is this a team that maybe this year won't? They've had like guys like Tate Mays, and, and I gave a stat this week on um, on Facebook and Twitter. You were the first guy since Tate Mays to have 100 yards rushing and passing in a game. Um, is this a, but is this a team maybe that won't have a, a big stat guy every week, but they can still win games and make a playoff push? Well, we're not really looking into stats. Like, we just got to go out there and do what we can to win the game. I mean, we're not looking to put up numbers. We're looking to score the ball, hold them from scoring, and win. Now, you guys were able to come back tonight, 14-7 at half. Uh, what adjustments were made were made at halftime that helped you guys? Oh, well, and I think they were probably more on the defensive side. Yeah. First half, we just came out flat, and coach gave a speech at halftime and got us all into it, and uh, we made some defensive adjustments and went out there and held them. What, uh, what what can this team do now? Do you think with this victory in your pocket? What, what well, can this team so, do for? I think it gives us huge momentum going forward. <laughs> do you, were you shocked that you were the first guy to have 100 100 since uh, Tate Tate Yeah, May? yeah, I, I did not know that. What does that What does that mean about what you're able to do on the field? Do you think? I mean, well, it shows you can get the job done, right? Yeah, I just go out there and do what I can to win. What's next for you guys? Where do you go and what What your How How is this going to propel a young team? Well, we are young, but we showed right there we can win, and we just got to go out every night like we did there in the second half and play with the mentality that we are going to win. On the fumble on the end zone uh, yes. before the safety. Talk about that play and what happened there with it. Oh, it was just before the play, we were on slot under center, and I called slot in the huddle play before I fumbled, and I got in the gun. And then the play after, I called it again, and my center, you know, he thought I was in the gun. And uh, I got under center, and he snapped it back like I was in the gun, and that it just went off Did my you hand. think at that point that uh, was, that could have been a costly – Yes, yes, and I then did. I guess you would have to feel for another quarterback, <laughs> especially a freshman one who has a snap like that. And yes. but I mean to get the win like that, yeah. is it really shocking at all? You guys seem to be the masters of two point games. Yeah, well, we just come through in the end. And that's all that matters. Just okay. come out with a win. Hey Jordan, I appreciate it. Good luck this year. Thank, Thank you. you.